Hello everyone, I'm Dear Myrtle, your friend in genealogy, but you know this channel's all about creating journals to tell one ancestral story, one anecdote at a time. Hey Hannah, what are you doing? Tell me. I'm sorry, I got all choked up. I'm so happy you're here. Well, um, I'm just doing a project that I found on the internet. You want to try? Yeah, it looks like you're working on your name. Yeah, so um, what this is, it's basically, so I'm using tape pieces, and then I'm making my name, and then I'm going to keep the tape on, and then I'm going to paint the whole paper, whichever, I can make it rainbow, however I want it to be, and then after that, I'm going to peel off the tape, and then your name will be there, and there will be colors surrounding it, but you want to try? Yeah, I like that. All right, so if we use watercolor this time, that's for a dirty brush to to get the uh, paint out if we want to change color. And this is for a clean, you know, you need to have water in it. Yeah. And I have watercolors. Let me get them activated. These watercolors in this palette are the ones I use when I took my lessons. And so if you want to, they're like hard. So yeah. you've got to add water to get them going. Hey, I remember when I did feathers with you. These are the exact same yes. color palette that we did. Yep. Thank you for remembering. Yep. And you can tell my favorite colors are kind of partly in there. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what colors you want, so I'm just going to get them all going. But if I missed one, that's okay because we can just activate them when we're ready for that color. Ooh, that's a pretty color. I think that. I always thought that was your favorite color. Well, it's really a light version of that aqua. Oh. That's my favorite. All right. So while these are getting ready for us to use them, and we can always wake them up even more. Okay. Um, so I've got to use the tape and get, can I just do M for Mert? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm willing. That's a great idea because when you said you wanted to do another recording, I'm like, uh, what do you want to do? <laughs> and I did not know. Okay, um, so we're using this painter's tape that's so easy to um, tear off uh, later. So let me make some more long strips for you. Okay. And then I can start doing mine. So basically, you're just going to want to like put it down like this and make sure you're, if you have a long name try to put your um tape close together so you have enough room to fit your whole name okay if not you can just make your initials if your name is really long like savannah or something okay do you have a friend named savannah at school no but in my old school i did okay here's some tape for you that's smaller okay Oh, thank you. Can I cut this? Yep, you can do whatever you want. Do you want scissors? Ooh. Or are you just going to tear it? Your uh, scissors. Scissor. I can probably just tear it, actually. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I'm just going to keep this over here. Now. This is a great project. Yeah. Do you get to use the internet a lot for school or not? Uh, oh, I need a long piece. I've got long here, if you need it. Mm. Oh, wow. Wait, I got it. I fixed it. Okay. Hold yeah. well on. Now, yeah, so I think it will just be really fun to do this project and, um, Glad yeah. you, I'm glad you brought it up. Yeah, oh, yeah, and um, I did this, oh, no, that's going to be way too small. Anyway, um, I did this project with um, my cousin, Ava and Sylvie. Oh, yeah, they had to go to a funeral in Arizona, so otherwise <sighs> we'd be playing with them, too, I think, today. Yeah, and, yeah, my aunt... Lindsay taught me this, and we all did it together, and it was really fun. So I just thought I might share that with you guys today. Well, my followers will be happy to learn that you are teaching me a lesson. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
I made lots of long strips for you, and I'm sticking them on the edge of this plastic we put on the. Wow, that is <laughs> long. Um, okay. you need a longer piece of paper, don't you? Well, I somehow made it work on a smaller piece of paper. Oh, okay. So hopefully, I can. If I could do it on that small paper, I can probably do it on this one. Okay. And I'm going to probably not need that one. Too short or too narrow? This one is perfect, though. Okay, cool. So, um... I'm going to clean this up a little. Because I have a little fuzzy part here. What's your third favorite color? Because I know your two favorite colors is purple and that beautiful turquoise. Um, yeah, I think my next favorite color after that would be, like, pink. Yeah, pink is used to be my old favorite color, but now it's light green. Okay, you used to like light green and say you never wanted any pink clothes or any girly clothes. Do you remember the going through that stage? Yes, I do. <laughs> what stage are you in now? I guess I'm kind of in the stage where I hate math. Oh, in I school can and, totally and relate. And it's really, really, really hard, and yeah, <laughs> math. I can relate. Oh, uh, you had a tutor this year. Did that help? Yeah, it really helped. And what was she, what was her focus that made it so helpful? Well, well, she didn't really push me too fast. Like every day, literally every day, we moved on to a new like thing. Like we wouldn't practice plus or minus for two days. We'd only practice for one day. Uh -huh. Then we'd move on to like multiplying fractions or something. Oh man. I know really fast. Big and jump. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit my name. Hmm. You could abbreviate it with the period there. <laughs> no, nah, that didn't go over too well. Well, I do have a um, my my shortcut of my name is Han. Yeah. But nobody calls me that. Be every yeah. I just call myself Han when I don't feel like saying the rest of my words, or I just write it on a piece of paper that's so small. Yeah. All right. Well. Well, I fine. guess I'll just squeeze these together. I guess. Okay. Like really, really, really close like that. Long piece of paper. No, not paper. So we're doing this on watercolor paper, which means it can handle the water. We're going to, you know, the wetness. If we did this on printer paper, it would just ripple. Yeah. You know, wouldn't turn out. However, you never know. Things... Things can surprise you sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. When you were very young and you would sign your name, like when you were in kindergarten, it would go like this, and then you put the rest of it down here below. Yeah. And I was always so proud of you because you got all the letters in. Yeah. And uh, where... May I use this? Yeah, those are. I'll cut more if you need them or whatever you think. Hannah. And it can be any different shapes or sizes. Honestly, these are way too squished together. These are spaced apart. I probably should have put them closer together. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. You don't need to. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfectly spaced yeah well yeah like i said it comes in all different shapes and sizes yep do you have an h on the end of your name yeah yeah if you just had an a on the end of your name you'd have plenty of room i think i'm just gonna put the a but everybody still know that there's an h at the end of my name but i'm officially. just gonna put the a yeah officially there is that's yeah. true Okay, Whew, is right. Wow. All right, I do have some watercolor brushes, and let me see how that paint is doing. Where did I put it? Oh, it's over here. 
Well, if you guys think that this is hard, at least it's not doing this in cursive. Uh, how's your cursive coming along? Well, it's doing pretty good. I forget a lot, but I am actually, I learn really, really, really quickly. Well, good. Of course, because you're my brilliant grandchild. Yeah. Uh, ooh, so many different colors. So many greens. Well, and they're each different. That's for sure. Light green isn't there. Well, you could make it by just using a lot of water and not very much paint. Yeah. That you don't need as much pigment in it. I also love this color and any kind of purple or red or something. All right. Since you're going to paint there, I'm going to get one of my clipboards. You see this big painting clipboard I have here in the closet? Yes. I'm going to put it on that. So that I can do it. I'll do it off camera. All right. That is not how you spell my name. The real way you spell my <laughs> name is officially with an A. <laughs> but this is just so I can do the project. I hear you, babe. Okay. May I see yours? Yes, you may see mine. Oh, I like how you put those down there. Kind of reminds me of Monster Inc. It does. That kind of font they use. You're right. Okay. So, um, here's a brush for you. All right. There's our dirty water. There's our clean water. And how much paint do we put? Do we just cover the whole surface with different colors? Any well, design you want? Um, you can draw over the paint, but to save paint, you should probably just like avoid the paint. But you, it's why we have painting paint is because so we don't write on our names and if we accidentally go over the paint that's like oh it's it's fine it's not like it's gonna get in where we really want it to go oh okay so yeah honestly do whatever you want okay i'm gonna pull some more water in here i'm just gonna get a little bit of okay i'm gonna just do a wash like this activate the paint all right oh now, nice. when you watercolor, if you want to have this because you think it might be too wet, your brush might be too wet, use that to dry it before you put it on. At least that's what my teacher taught me. I took classes. Yeah, I remember doing a class with you. Yeah. Like I told earlier in this video. Yes. I might do, oh, no, wait, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. <laughs> it's okay, everybody makes mistakes, though. It's just perfect. Ooh, yours is looking good. Well, let's see what you're doing. Well, uh, yeah, I'm just. <laughs> you're getting ready. Yeah, I'm getting ready. <laughs> um, well, tell me, like, what red do you for prefer? What red? Um, well, that's an orange red. Oh, I on. like these, blood red these. and, yeah. Yeah, one of those two. I'm going to choose this one because blood red, I don't know, just Twilight is a good movie. <gasps> I, I love Twilight. Your mom let you watch Twilight? All of them. Oh, my gosh. That's right. You're not two anymore. I have to keep remembering. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was all the rage, that movie series. Now, you did just so finish much. reading Harry Potter, didn't you? Well, we're still reading it, but we are so close. Only like five more pages left. And which book are you in? I'm in the last book. Oh, so you're really close. Yeah, really close. Yeah. Is that the one where they have to go diving? Um, In what one? Like In the one you're reading, is that where you have to go diving in the water? Or not? For what? To, to um, save somebody. No, that's the fourth book. Okay, that's right. You have to forgive me. I'm getting old. Can't remember everything. Nobody remembers everything. I've forgotten so many things, but I still remember most of it. <laughs> You're so sweet. Now let's get so most of my friends red. don't know that you're Hannah. They know you as the little redheaded girl. Yeah, but since I started recording with you, more people are going to know me as Hannah. Yes, with an H on the end. With an H. <laughs> okay. 
All right. So, so I have yeah. these two stripes of purple, and I'm thinking of going the other way with aqua. What do you think? I think whatever you want, and I think that looks great. All right. I think I'm going to get a wider brush. Since I know I'm trying to do it kind of straight. And just always know that it will always look good in the end, no matter what. Well, that's true. I need to get mine wet. Whoa, that looks like a blood drop just went into it water. It did. It did. Um, when you're concentrating on stuff, sometimes do you like get quiet? And, like I go like this and either bite my tongue or my lip. Do you ever do that? I mean, sometimes I do. I usually don't, but that's just me. Yeah. Well, I probably am going to start doing that as an adult. <laughs> so you have a few years or two. Yeah. Not to worry. Now, when I concentrate, I... I don't realize that I'm doing that until I actually bite my tongue yeah. as opposed to just holding it, my teeth. And then it hurts. Yeah. It's like the cat lately. Sometimes she plays with us, you know, Bella. Mm -hmm. She always picks as soon as we're ready for bed and in bed. Mm -hmm. And she yeah. jumps up. But sometimes she gets so excited and she puts her paws around like our wrist and then tries to like pretend like she's going to bite us on her hand, but she doesn't really. But then by mistake lately, she's been biting our hand. We have to like, yeah, she just gets overly excited. Overly excited. Yeah. I'd say, do your followers know who Bella is? Yes, my followers know who Bella is. Bella is my cat. She is so cute. <laughs> she is. Remember when she was missing for a couple of, like a week? Oh, no, that was not fun. No, when she had taken off her collar and she can get out of it. She hasn't gotten out of this one lately. I've had to replace it a couple of times. Yeah, but why don't you show them how you're doing? Oh, I will show them how I'm doing. Kind of sort of looks like a beginning of a plaid. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I just am going for rainbow, just like I did last time. Last time when I did it with um, my cousin and my aunt, um, we were doing it like we did multiple of them, like so, so many. But we definitely don't have enough time for like 17 plus in this video. Uh, you're probably right. Um, I think usually on this channel, I just do anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Once yeah. in a while, I do a short one. But this is the channel where I, you remember how I have the steamer trunk upstairs with all those ancestor things? Yes, I do. And, yeah, and you're the first one of the grandkids to ever look in it or know that it, I keep it in my office. And, um, yeah, so... I usually just do those little kind of videos here. Yeah. My other YouTube channel is, you know, where I do Dear Myrtle and we have these big classes and stuff like that, which is also very fun. But And it's also, isn't it also on Facebook? <laughs> yes, it is, dear. I have a Facebook group and people will ask questions there. Yes. Good for you. They, I, has anybody ever gone in the comments on comments, sorry, yeah. on YouTube before? Yes, they. I get comments from people like Katie and a couple other people. Lately, I have a friend in Arizona named Kim, and she's going to start making little mini journals like me. And it's because she's her mother's getting old, and she's her caregiver, and her mother can't remember a lot of things, but she can remember the old things. So she found my friend found some pictures of the wedding of her parents. And so that's the first journal she's going to make. It's about their wedding. Aww. Yeah. So she's going to make it for her mom? Yeah, because then they can talk about it. And 
her mother can succeed in that as opposed to not being able to remember what she had for breakfast, stuff like that. I think that would that's really nice of her to do that. I'm yeah, impressed. let's see what you're doing. Oh, that's backwards. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yay. There, the H is missing. You're going to have to paint one. <laughs> I don't even think there would be enough room to paint one. Only like a tiny one like that. <laughs> I hear you. <sighs> well. I love it. What month is your birthday in? January. The same as my mom. <gasps> I forgot. Your birthday was on the same day as my mom. Yeah. She was on my 21st birthday. That was the best birthday present I ever got. I was just about to say <laughs> it was, uh, she was, she was one of your presents. Yep, she was. She was. I did say to the doctor, couldn't you help her stay, let her have her own birthday tomorrow? He says, nope, this baby is coming now. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And in those days, they didn't have the ability to look, you know, when they do a sonogram, they look at the tummy and they can tell it's a boy or a girl. So we didn't know if your mom was going to be a boy or a girl. So we had, um, we had gone to the store and we bought things for, if it was a, a newborn baby boy and a newborn baby girl. And so Grandpa Mark, because I was married to him then, and he's her dad. He went home from the hospital after, oh. after your mother was born, and he brought all the pink baby newborn stuff so we could bring her home from the hospital and that. Is it too much red and you want to change colors? Oh, no, I'm just doing rainbow. Oh, okay. Red, orange. Is orange on here? Well, is this? Yeah, I that's red, orange. Yep. I'm just going to have to use this. Do you need a fatter brush? No, I think, well, maybe. Uh, let's just see how it goes. All right, that's a plan. Orange. Now, do we have to wait a long time to tear off the um, well, tape? Or? We should probably wait until the paint dries. Okay. And if we if we wait for like a long ooh, it's been twenty two minutes. How could you tell? Oh well, you're I'm looking there. at the good for you, very observant. Well maybe it's time to wrap it up. Well, and we you and I can keep painting. Well everybody, you know what to do and you can just do the tape and make sure to only peel it off the tape when the t when the paint is dry and then it will look perfection, I assure you. <laughs> look, look. I'm, I think it looks really good. I I'm, can't believe I did this. Oops. Oh. That tape decided it was going to really stick to that paper. I don't know why. But not here. It's good every... Oops. Yep. Okay. I think that looks really good. All right. I'm not going to tear any more off. You know why I think it did that tearing? Because it's still wet underneath there. Um, and I need to let it dry overnight. But I can tell it's going to be really cool. Thank you, Tam. Um, Tam. Hmm. Yeah, Hannah awesome. with an H. Thank you for teaching me how to do this. This was fun. And you can come be on my show anytime you like, okay? Why, thank you. <laughs> and I shall... Just a minute. I'm covering up your colors. Here we go. <laughs> Nothing left to say, but I'm Dear Myrtle, your friend in genealogy. Happy family tree climbing, everybody. And journaling and painting your name with or without an H. <laughs>